Hello, fabulous friends and fans. Welcome to your 2013 annual horoscope special. Yes, it is 2013 already, and we have entered the age, the new age that the Mayans had predicted. So right at the end of 2012, we ended one phase of humanity and now have begun the very slow process of moving more and more towards a greater understanding of unity consciousness. And the universe is doing everything it can to support this endeavor and to support this beginning. This year, two big celestial events are going to characterize much of the year. One continues from last year, which is the square between Uranus and Pluto. Uranus and Aries saying, I want freedom, I want independence, and Pluto saying, structure. You got to look at the structure and try to make those two fit, even when sometimes they seem that they don't. The other big celestial event taking place is a grand trine in water. A bunch of power players in the sky are getting together, communicating back to back all year long. And this denotes a time of rising compassion and an awareness of our interconnection. If you'd like to know more about these big events and how they're going to speak to all of us as a collective, you can click on the link that'll take you to my website. It will be a fantastic year. It will be a fabulous year. Enjoy. Hello, fabulous Gemini. Thank you for being here. As I was looking at the sky of 2013 for you, I was reminded of uh, some time I once spent in a writer's group. And in this group, a lot of us there had already written manuscripts and had written at least one manuscript before we moved on to the manuscript or the work. That first manuscript ultimately was just about a learning process, was understanding what it takes to write a book and usually resonated with something we were interested in. But once we were serious and we really wanted to start making money off of writing, we really wanted to share our writing in a broader context than we had been, usually it wasn't that exact manuscript that ended up being what we shared. It was almost as if that first manuscript was just a practice run. I'm sharing this with you because the year can be divided right down the middle for you. So in the first half of the year, I am seeing that there's the belief there, there's the hope there, there's the experimentation, and that is a very valuable part of the process, so don't dismiss it. And as much as you can stay in the moment and do whatever you're doing for the joy of it, then you are going to be planting some really valuable seeds going forward. But it is the second half of the month that really brings tangible progress. It's the second half of the month in which you start seeing prosperity find you, you start seeing yourself sharing in new ways, and whether what you end up sharing is exactly what you focus on as the year begins, or it'll most likely be something a little altered, because what you focus on at the beginning of the year is going to change, it is going to evolve, and you'll understand it differently and bring in new elements. And so by the time you get to the middle of the year and enter the second half, you're ready to share it. You're ready to go after different opportunities. It is the second half of the year where I'm seeing really big moves happening for you financially, career-wise, work-wise. All these areas are lit up for you. And there's a lot of progress happening for you. But it is going to be up to you to decide how much of this you are going to not just allow, but how much you're going to hold on to the initial seed idea and how much you are actually going to let it grow so that it can move you in the direction that would be best for you, would be most prosperous for you, would be most abundant for you. That's a fine line to walk. And there are a couple of different ways you could approach this. I mean, I think about Gemini energy. In Gemini energy, it's pretty flexible, right? You're known as a mutable sign. And that means that you can understand that there are different ways to get to the same goal and that you're able to make adjustments where you need to. And that quality is what is going to be called on. Yet at the same time, and especially as the start of the year, there is this very focused determination with you. 
and this resolve. And that is wonderful. That is to be cherished. But ultimately, that resolve is about you understanding that you are worth working on your own behalf to improve your circumstances and that you can have better as you desire to and that you can have a life that feels more rewarding. And that's ultimately what that seed is about. But the outcome, as it begins to reveal itself in the second year, doesn't have to be exactly as you, as you envision it as the year begins. Because what I'm seeing is that the universe has a much greater plan for you than anything that you could plan for yourself. But you've got to let it in. You've got to approach this year with the best qualities within you that have to do with making adjustments and that have to do with listening and bringing yourself into alignment with that higher vision. It is going to ask for you to make some alterations, some changes, some refinements. You do that and the sky really is the limit and prosperity like you've never seen before becomes available to you. Thank you for watching. Be fabulous and enjoy.